guys welcome back to crack the chaos series with me kavya tendral if you have not subscribed our channel please do subscribe for more interesting videos like this in this video we'll see about how to easily remember the broadman's functional areas in brain the contents are first we'll see the general outline of the brain then we'll move on to broadman's functional areas of brain and then a quick recap this is a general external outline of the brain we notice three poles one is formed by the frontal lobe so it is the frontal pole next the temporal pole and posteriorly it is the occipital pole we have now pointed three poles now we are going to divide this brain into some lobes for that we'll take this central sulcus of rolando this is the lateral sulcus of silvius and this is parieto occipital sulcus this is the imaginary line connecting the central sulcus to the paratoxybal sulcus thereby limiting the parietal lobe from the temporal lobe now we got the lobe that is the frontal lobe temporal lobe parietal lobe and occipital lobe one important thing about all the lobes is the frontal lobe is concerned with motor activity the parietal lobe is concerned with sensory activity the temporal lobe is associated with auditory pathways and the occipital lobe for vision here is the lateral sulcus the central sulcus the imaginary line and paratoxybal sulcus whatever the broadman area that is falling in the frontal area frontal lobe or of motor whatever that is falling on the parietal or sensory areas and the areas in temporal lobes are associated with or related with auditory pathways and entire occipital lobe is concerned with the vision before we actually go to that area proper only one thing you need to remember is the numbers that is in our mathematics class we would have learned the sequence of 1 2 3 whereas here when we study broadman's area it is not 1 2 3 rather it is 3 1 2 at the moment we hear 3 1 2 it evokes a sensory stimulus what 3 1 2 what is an order yes this evokes a sensory impulse in right in us right yes this 3 1 2 is actually the somatosensory area primary somatosensory area next uh, to remember all the broadman's area in the frontal lobe very simple mnemonic just uh, take the multiplication of 2 so 2 4 6 8 these are all the broadman's area in the frontal lobe concerned with this motor activities now we have five senses so the number 5 is denoting the sensory area we know the parietal lobe in the brain is associated with sensory so number 5 broadman area is in the parietal cortex especially the superior gyrus next number is to remember it we'll take like 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 is 7 and yes 5 and 7 are in the superior parietal lobe concerned with the area 5 and 7 the function of this 5 and 7 is actually stereognosis next uh, we know this eight area is a primary visual field area as eight is related to primary vis uh, visual field area 
so the next probability of number in 8 is 18 which is associated with vision and we know this 18 is should be lying in the occipital lobe as the occipital lobe is only concerned with vision so 18 is present in the occipital lobe along with that the 17 and 19 all the three areas are concerned with vision but the primary visual area is 17 and the 19 and 18 are visual association areas 6 and 4 are concerned with motor fibers especially corticospinal and cortico bulbar tracts now we'll move on to the temporal lobe to remember the area and temporal lobe i am considering this point this central point is where from this central point we can reach this line this this and this line it means this one point is uniting all four lines so take like this one point as 41 in order to remember the broadman's area we are again following one course that is the corpus callosum now the corpus callosum is going to go from here to here so 41 just number from that 41 42 43 44 45 the thing to note here is 44 45 is lying in the frontal cortex 43 in parietal 41 42 in temporal so 41 42 is associated with audition auditory pathways so it is the primary auditory area 43 will come later 44 and 45 uh, what is this 44 and 45 to remember like uh, we'll take a mnemonic like naale per naale idama pesuvanga so naale per naale idama pesuvanga is speech so 44 area is associated with speech but this 44 is lying in the frontal cortex we know this frontal cortex is a motor in nature so this 44 and 45 both are motor speech area this motor speech area has a name called Broca's area. Now, uh, we have written 41, 42. If we have 41, 42 here, then 39 and 40 would have been here. Again, this 39 and 40 is lying in the parietal cortex. So, it should be of some sensory area. This 43, uh, sorry, 45, 44, 39, 40, all are lying in same plane so remember like this 45 44 are associated with speech likewise 39 40 is also associated with speech as this 39 and 40 is lying in the parietal lobe they are basically sensory and it is related with speech so it is sensory speech area this sensory speech area has also some name called as Wernicke's area in order uh, in addition to 39 and 40 there is also an another area called 22 in the Wernicke's area to be remembered is this 22 is in the temporal cortex coming to 43 guys 43 is somewhere inner right for us to visualize this 43 we need to go so This is the lateral sulcus and somewhere here is the 43 lying and here is the temporal and the occipital lobe. For us to visualize this 43, we need to retract this two lobes like that. One thing to uh, remember this 43 is what is the one part in our body which can be seen only when two things get retracted. Any guess? Yes, if you have guessed it is the tongue your is your guess is right because the tongue is the one which is not visualized normally when we are silent only when we speak the both the jaws are getting detracted and we see tongue likewise when both these lobes the frontal lobe and temporal lobe which is get retracted we see that 43 area so this 43 area is associated with tongue the function of tongue is gustation 
so 43 area is august territory area that's it now to recall lateral central sulcus paratoxical sulcus and demarcating the parietal and temporal lobe this is the 3 1 2 with the multiple of 2 4 6 8 8 is visual area the frontal cortex so 8 and here again next probability is 18 17 19 all are associated with vision of which 19 18 is visual association area and 17 is the primary visual area here in the parietal cortex it is 5 that's the 5 senses we have here said 2 plus 5 7 so 5 and 7 are sensory area of broad man which is present in parietal cortex which is for stereognosis and coming to the temporal loop 41 42 43 is here 44 45 44 45 it is motor speech area that is the broca's area 41 42 is the auditory cortex 43 we see inside after retracting so I think like it is tongue so gustatory area and here we have the 39 40 with 39 40 we said 22 so 39 40 22 are Wernicke's area that is the sensory speech area these are the references and one thing to say is uh, area 28 this area 28 is for uh, smell it is associated with smell thank you so much for your patient listening